Hello, everyone. I'm not going to start off... I'm not, I'm not going to make any real comment about Thunderfoot's... Uh, Thunderfoot's video, because my initial response to anything that sounds anything remotely like I'm underappreciated, so goodbye, cruel world, is fuck you. So, take that as you will. But given that there is a certain acerbic tone to this channel, I figure I ought to maintain that somehow. So I'm going to reply to a gentleman who put uh, a comment on my happy it's no longer 2010 video saying, wanting to know in detail how my 2010 was bad. And um, my first response, as you can probably guess, is fuck you. Because um, asking someone else for a laundry list, uh, well, practically demanding a laundry list, um, when they're... It smacks of superiority and rudeness. Now, that is just my personal opinion, because fuck you is my respect, reflexive response to a lot of things. But let's set aside all the personal shit that happened to me, some of which I talked in, in the, about in the videos, most of which I did not. And let's go over a few things that happened to the United States and the world in 2010. And I'm not saying this to depress y'all. I'm saying this as a reminder that this is not a fresh start, a blank slate. This is a milestone along a road that does not end, does not break, and is not forgiving. So feel free to be unforgiving yourself. First of all, BP, the oil spill in the Gulf. Second, the voting out of office of the of three of the Iowa Supreme, State, uh, Supreme Court judges who voted against discrimination in marriage, mostly funded by an out-of-state group. Some of that had ties to the one that sponsored Proposition 8 in California. The Republican Congress, Speaker-elect John Boehner, um, Governor Chris Christie, uh, cutting one of the largest public works infrastructure projects in the, uh, the so far in the in the Senate, very, very young century. Um, let me see. We don't count Copenhagen. We count the arrest of Private Massey, or Specialist Massey, and his uh, detention in solitary confinement for essentially whistleblowing. Let me see. We count the anti-abortion laws in Oklahoma, and Nebraska, and Utah. We count um, Sarah Palin's meteoric rise to the head of the Tea Party. We count the mainstream media, media's uh, essential relegation of the political left to hell, even while, you know, to journalism hell. It's because punching hippies is still a popular sport, even as we still um, have the Tea Party getting billions in free publicity. We get the after effects of Citizens United versus Federal Election Commission, which is being used to try and make fetuses natural persons in the definition of the law and give them constitutional rights, which, if you don't mind me saying so bluntly, disenfranchises half of those people who already have rights. Um, I could go on, but I don't want to. Uh, but I could also talk about Climate Gate and Daryllisa now having, you know, being given subpoena power by the voters and basically making it like it's 1995 all over again um, with the Republican Congress going after Clinton. Obama saying to the left, you have nowhere to go, essentially. Uh, I'm just going to stop now. Um, there are a lot of things that went wrong in 2010, and there's a lot of work we need to do. And yeah, I know there was some progress made on a lot of issues, but we still have a lot of damage to undo. And I'm not even mentioning, well, now I am, wars, the withdrawal from Afghanistan, or the withdrawal from Iraq that wasn't, and the escalation in Afghanistan, and the 
introduction of a new war in Yemen, and I think I'll just shut up now. <sighs> On the bright side, I'm feeling pretty energized and in a good mood, and, uh, well, I met lots of wonderful people, and I'm meeting more every day. So thank you for your time and attention, and beware what questions you ask, because you will get an answer. And you might also get a fuck you, but that's just me. Bye-bye.